Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today I'm going to do one of these little clickbait things. This is from Money Plus Investing, 20 phrases baby boomers say that no one else understands. So let's go ahead and... Um, Check this out. It's a beautiful day out here in Mexico. And uh, let's just see if I say these things and if anyone else says these things. So first one is back in my day. And this is one of the few that I kind of say once in a while, I'll say back in the day. Every once in a while. So I'm probably half guilty of this, but I think everybody understands this. So. That's kind of ridiculous. Let's go to the next one. Kids these days. No, I don't hear this. I don't say it and I don't hear it. So I'm going to break this one as zero. Um, once in a while, I hear a, a boomer say this. And when they do, I usually confront them. <laughs> I usually say, You're nuts, kids these days. It's ridiculous. So let me um, tell you where I'm coming from. Um, my parents' generation would sometimes say this and i didn't like it i didn't like it when they said it to me so i'm not going to say it to you guys my audience is mostly under 35 so i don't say this make it snappy i don't say this and i don't hear it so i'm going to give a zero on this uh if you hear it let me know but make it snappy i never say that you sound like a broken record um I've said that in the past, but I don't say it currently. Um, and yeah, maybe people don't understand that if you say it. You know something I um, said one time to somebody at work that they didn't understand? I said, dot your I's and cross your T's. And they just stared at me. And I said, you don't know what that means, do you? And they said, no. It was funny. But you sound like a broken record. Now, I don't think I say that. Um, and, you know, if I do, I don't say it to any particular generation. But I'm going to give myself a zero on that one. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Once in a blue moon, I might say that. Yeah, people probably don't understand that today. Um, but I rarely say that. I give myself a... Uh, quarter of a point on that maybe burning the midnight oil i have said that once in a while so maybe i'll give myself a half a point on that one not a quarter point so we're up to one point now a half point quarter point and quarter point um i might say this once in a while um that's yeah, interesting that people don't know what that means they don't understand it that's the way the cookie crumbles. I don't say that anymore, but I think I used to. Um, yeah, I'll give myself a zero on that. I don't say that anymore. It kind of fell out of my lexicon. Not my first rodeo. Yeah, I'm guilty of this one. I do say this one, not my first rodeo. So um, I still kind of like that phrase. Um, yeah, it just means I've been through it before. But yeah, okay, so people don't understand that um sense of experience and competence um of course an older person is going to say this because they've been through a few rodeos okay so i don't know if that's fair to assess that to an older person but uh i do say that so i'm up to two points now money doesn't grow on trees i don't say that but i heard that from my parents so i think that's the generation before uh, that said that. So I'm going to score this one zero. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, I still say that. I got to give myself a point on that. So I guess I'm up to three points. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. People don't understand that anymore. Um, yeah, okay. Well, guilty. To each his own. Yeah, I say that. Um, but I think people understand that. Anyway, gosh, I'm up to four points. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, uh, gosh, guilty. I'm up to five points now. 
We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I, I do say that all the time. But I think it's a good phrase. I'll, I'll defend that one. Geez, I'm up to five points. I thought I was going to score really low on this. This too shall pass. You know, one time I was sitting with a group of people, and this guy told me he thought he had a kidney stone. And I said, this too shall pass. <laughs> Everyone groaned at the table. Yeah, um, gosh, guilty. This too shall pass. But I think people know what that means. Gosh, I'm up to six points. Not feeling good about this. Keep your nose to the grindstone. I don't say that. That's a zero. Okay. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. I say that once in a while. I'll give myself a quarter point on that one. Uh, five and a quarter points. Um, yeah, sometimes I say that. Not too often, though. A penny saved is a penny earned. Never. That was my parents' generation. So, see, they're kind of going earlier than the boomers here. This was the World War II generation that said this. So I score zero on that. Early bird gets a worm. Rarely do I say that. I'll give myself a zero. I might say it once in a, in, you know, once in a blue moon. Ooh, there's a saying, once in a blue moon. Does anyone know what that means? Okay. Five and a quarter points. I'm not doing too well. At the end of the day, well, I don't say that. Because, I'll tell you why. Because... This was popular in news lexicon. You you watch people being interviewed uh, on the news or on, you know, like Good Morning America or something, and all these politicians and different people would say at the end of the day. So I think people know what this means today. I don't think this is misunderstood by anybody. I personally don't say it because it was overused on television, and I was like, okay, everybody says at the end of the day, so I'm not going to say it. So zero on that one. Tighten your belt. Mm. Rarely. But I'll give myself a quarter point on that. I've been known to say that on rare occasions. Yeah. Uh, yeah resourcefulness, resilience, and times of financial constraint. But, well, no, I'll give myself a zero. I really don't say this. Okay. An ounce of prevention worth a pound of cure. That's the World War II generation. Zero. Conclusion. So I scored out of 20. I scored, I think, five and a quarter, maybe five and a half. So uh, let me know how many of these phrases you understand and how many you don't understand. I'm curious to know if these really are, you know, I'm curious to know how dated these are. Some of these phrases, like at the end of the day, I think you've all heard that. It's really overused. So that's it. We're done. I just wanted to do one of these five and a quarter. So I'm, uh, I'm about 27 and about 27% guilty on this. So um, not as good as I thought I would score. But anyway, um, if you like what we're doing, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. I hadn't done one of these shorts in a long time. Take care.